Sacred Mother Earth, Sacred Sky Father, oh, Sacred Grandparents from the Four Directions, come to us and be with us here in this ceremony now. I was helping a, my next door neighbor round up a herd of wild horses and the horse I was riding reared up on its hind legs, fell backwards and it landed right on my chest. I found myself in complete darkness and void and I knew that I had died and I just screamed and as I screamed it echoed all around me and I realized I was in a dark cave and saw my body laying on the ground and I fell into my body. This experience of life and death totally changed my, the feeling and, and look of my art. The sweat lodge is the sacred mother earth. When we enter into the womb, the sacred void, when we sweat, this is very similar to where an artist goes into a place within themselves. This is when the creative idea flashes through the void and into the mind. A lot of times people will ask me where my inspiration comes from. I, I like the Greeks' way of describing inspiration. They had a goddess named Muse. In my world, a spirit helper. I was in the Sundance and it was the third day. It was without food and water, I was very, very weak. And it was a very hot day, about 110 degrees, and so I, I was just about to collapse. I looked up and saw the eagle tied up in the tree. And I felt this wave of energy coming out of the eagle and into my body. And I just all of a sudden felt like I could dance all day, and I got up and danced my strongest dance of the whole time during that feeling. And well, when something magical happens like that, we like to celebrate it, and for me, I do that through art. And so I started drawing a picture of Sky Father, and it was an archetype that's seen many places in the world, part eagle, part man. Later, I realized that there was probably a wheel of four sculptures, so I could keep the sacred balance always. That's one thing I always try to put into my work, is that balance. In life, we can place all the things in our life on a medicine wheel and then step back and look at it. And sometimes it's a lot better way of approaching life than seeing it as a linear line from beginning to end, like a lot of our culture does. 